Yeah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to call to order the uh, February 12th, 2013 Regional Governance Board meeting of the Southwest Vermont Regional Technical School District. And we have a quorum present, so we will proceed with the agenda. The first item on the agenda is public comments. Do we have any public comments? We do. Okay. And we don't have a mic. That's all right. So, okay. Yeah, I'll have to speak um, up. My name is Barb Corbati, and I teach English and Communications here at the CDC. Um, and I am here to express faculty concerns about the newly revised um, minimum enrollment policy. Um, basically, the faculty sees the policies enrollment guidelines as sort of a lofty goal. Um, I'd like to share with you a letter that has that we've written. Um, that gives you some background as to what we looked at um, as important to the question of enrollment. Um, we took the numbers for students enrolled in public high schools in Bennington County and just sort of did a little math with them and found out that if we wanted to look just at our first year programs, we would have to attract 65% of the students of the local high schools to come here and take the program. That's over two thirds of those students. Mind you, that includes students who are at a life skills level in special needs, and it includes students who have no interest or ambition with regard to career and technical education. So we see that as a very high number. If you look at it a step further to our second year programs, there is no way if we just kept to the minimum of 10 students per class that we could expect as seniors to have full classrooms of 10 students per class with even that 65 number because there's a reduction of students from junior to senior year that just happens routinely. Students move away, change interests. There are a lot of things that happen there. Um, so we think that the numbers out there just don't support that minimum of 10 students per class. Um, in fact, I, I asked our guidance coordinator, how are we doing on this today? And I asked him, how many programs right now, today, actually it was yesterday, <coughs> meet that 10 students per class in our second year programs, only two out of our 19 programs have 10 students currently, currently enrolled. My reading of, of the policy suggests that that means that everyone should be under, all the two, two programs should be under program review at this point, which seems to me an awfully large undertaking for the administration to do. The faculty would really like to look at this idea of enrollment from a different standpoint. Instead of pinpointing individual programs, we hope that you would consider looking at center-wide enrollment trends. Figure out what is it that our programs do for this community, what needs are we serving, and then how can we see that the enrollment is met across the entire center, not across individual little pinpointed classes, and then apply what needs to be done to see that we set reasonable goals that make sense for the entire community in terms of what our one should be. Um, we hope as a faculty that you guys will consider re-examining this policy that you put in place, and I can assure you that if there's any support in re-examining this that the teachers can offer, we would be more than happy to do so. So I'd like to just thank you for your time. Okay. Um. Just a, a quick response. We won't take any action on this because it, it, it's not listed <coughs> on the action items for this evening's meeting. But um, I, I guess I'm a little perplexed in that we went through the whole process of the policy committee about 90 days ago. We brought it to the board 60 days ago. We warned it 30 days ago. And it was during all those times we were looking for input. 
and I'm, I'm just a little surprised that it comes now after the policy was adopted by the board and it is now a policy of the board. So I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't hear from you sooner. <coughs> but um, it, it, will, uh, it will go on as an item on the agenda for the, for the next meeting. Maybe not the next meeting because that's our reorganization meeting. But uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at the, the reorganization first and then discuss uh, where to put it at that point in time. Jim, do you want discussion or you just want to stop it there? No, I would rather that we, we move on with right. it there okay. because it's, it, it is not on the agenda. We need time to, to look at this as well and study this. Thank you for bringing this out <coughs> to us this evening. Okay. Committee reports and, and minutes, we, we have none for those because there were no committees that met in that short time between our, our last board meeting. So we're going to move right to the consent agenda and um, I'm looking for an approval of the minutes of the RGB full board meeting for January 28th. So moved. Second. Okay, I have it moved by, was that you, Ricky? Yes. Seconded by yep. Fran? Okay. For the minutes. <coughs> Any discussion on those minutes from the last meeting? All right, hearing none, then all in favor of accepting the minutes of the meeting as they have been published? Signify by raising your hand, and that is unanimous, Barb. Warrants. We'll start with the payroll warrant. Can I have a motion for that? So moved. Second. The same. Two. Mm -hmm. Any discussion on the payroll warrant? All in favor of accepting that, then please signify by raising your hand. And that is unanimous as well. The vendor warrants. Need a motion on that? So moved. Second. All right, the same again. This is easy. You guys can keep this up. Okay. <laughs> Quick um, Just give me a discussion. <laughs> is there any, any concerns or questions about the vendor's uh, warrants? Well, I mean, yeah. I have a question, okay, but our business manager isn't here, so yeah. I'm not going to get an answer yeah. to it. Greg, Greg is chaperoning a field trip t this evening, so I said if there was any specific questions, mm -hmm. uh, I would take down that I couldn't answer, and I would get him back, get the answer back to you once I spoke with him. Okay. And so I have you one that I have one with that. that. Yeah. yeah. Any, anything else on that, on the vendor warrants? Then uh, all in favor of uh, accepting those as presented? And that is unanimous as well. And I'll sign these and send them around for everyone's signature then. I'm just curious. Let's start with that one. The cash flow statements and the revenue and expense statements were also included in the packet. They're posted on our our site, um, our Dropbox. So I hope that you've had a chance to look those over. If there's any concerns, we can address those now as, as well. All right, see, and then we'll move on to the field trips, the action items. We've got a field trip request from the Human Services Program to go to Stonington, Connecticut to uh, visit, I, I believe it's, what, college? Uh -huh. I forgot. I forgot too, and also to the a child care center in Mystic, uh, at Mystic, in Mystic as yeah. well. The agenda is in your packet, and there is a uh, pretty detailed explanation of what they're going to be doing there for the, those two days. So I'd like a motion to so uh, approve this. It is an out-of-state field trip, so that is our policy. Kevin has second, and, and it's seconded by Francis. All in favor. And that's unanimous. Field trip is approved. Chairman's report. Um, I'm going to uh, defer right to the superintendent for his. I have uh, I have nothing new to report from the last two weeks, so I'll move on to the superintendent. Right. Superintendent doesn't have too much either, but I did want to inform you that tomorrow night is the open house here. Uh, our staff will be here from uh, 6.30 till approximately 8 o'clock. You're welcome to come and walk around if you'd like to. Oh, hi. <laughs> um, uh, so that's tomorrow night. 
And this time we, I have something from, uh, I was sent from the, uh, and I apologize for my voice, but this is about as good as it is, uh, Vermont School Board Association. Um, that we have a certificate to present to one of our members. They, they um, give longevity certificates to, starting at nine years, then 12, 15, and 20 years. And we uh, have a certificate to present to Frank Lamb because uh, he meets the criteria. He's in his ninth year of service, so this is your ninth year award. Uh, Frank, so congratulations. Let me uh, give that to you. That's a presentation. Very good. Yeah, yeah. very good. Thank you. with pride. And uh, why don't I give you the letter that comes with it so you can read that. Okay. Um, in the drop box, there is a, uh, you'll see a postcard. Let me get the hard copy of it. We are doing a marketing mailing to every eighth grade, eighth, uh, ninth, tenth, and eleventh grade. Um, it looks. This is what it looks like, and you can see the picture of it in the Dropbox. And it's kind of a, we think a pretty neat idea. It looks like a smartphone picture of the school on it. And you'll see uh, on a real smartphone, it, you know, it says swipe to unlock. The swipe key says unlock your future. And if you go on the back side, they'll be able to scan this to get more information for the school. And uh, the mailing part will go on that. I want to thank Mike and Marie Pierre for putting this together. Uh, and it's, we're in that, that uh, sign up for course season, so that mailing goes out next week. And uh, we hope to, and we, we bought a mailing list to, uh, to get that done of all the households that have uh, those grade levels in there. We didn't go down to seventh grade with this particular mailing, though we do want to do that with some other marketing techniques in the future because it really is our, for students who are going to be here next year. <clears throat> so look for that. Um, and the last thing I want to talk to you about is uh, negotiations began for the uh, support personnel. The, there were two previous uh, planning meetings for that, and this afternoon was the first uh, meeting that both sides met, working out ground rules. I think it went pretty well, and uh, they've selected uh, six dates uh, in the future that will bring it up through the beginning of June, and uh, both sides' stated goal is to get that completed before the end of the school year, and uh, I hope that, that that's going to be the case. Uh, so that's that's my my brief report this evening, um, and I'll turn okay. it back to you. Uh, we do have an executive session plan. Um, I'm going to cover the other before we go. Absolutely. I asked for a motion to go into executive session for personnel reasons. Um, so we're, we're going to move on to the other. My the first item on the other, I want to draw your attention to, in our drop box and in your packet would be copies of, of recent articles that were published in the Bennington Banner. In case you don't get the banner, those articles are there. One is on the uh, report from Marie Pierre last meeting on the adult ed program and how well that is going. That's a good article that came out today in, in recognition of that. There's also a letter in there from the, on the, uh, or an article in the Mount Anthony Messenger on the engineering program and uh, what they're doing in that. Both of those are, are interesting articles. I hope you take a look at them if you haven't already. Well, there's also in, in the packet a copy of the Human Services Newsletter, which is very good as well. And uh, I hope you take the chance to, to look at it. It really gives you an idea <coughs> of what they're doing in that program. Um, there's a few recognitions that need to go out tonight. There's actually three. The first one is it's Sandy Redding's birthday today, so we're going to wish her a happy birthday, our, our office manager. I think she's, 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 hiding, she's hiding in the background. Okay, so happy birthday to Sandy. Um, Frank, we have a gift for you for the outstanding nine years of service that you've given to the center here. And we really want to tell you how much we appreciate the work that you've put in and the devotion you have had to the Career Development Center over the years. Thank you very much for that. Well, thank you. Yeah. 
And Larry, we have the same for you. We realize that you're going, and uh, we want to thank you for your uh, your dedication and your service over the four, four years of service. Thank you, sir. So if I could, I we need a motion then to to go into executive session. So moved. Second. Moved by Frank and seconded by Captain. All in favor? All right. Aye. Aye. Okay, we need to go. Can we go next door? Next room is prepared. Yeah. Where we usually go? Okay, yep. it's all set to go.